Hi everyone, welcome back to Singapore Math. A pair of pants cost $12 more than a shirt. Mrs. Devi paid $204 for three pairs of pants and four shirts. How much did each shirt cost? So let's go ahead with the first statement here, which says a pair of pants cost $12 more than a shirt. How do we draw it into a model? So here there are two items that are being compared. One is a pair of pants and the other is a shirt. And the pair of pants is actually how much ever is the shirt plus additional $12. So we draw one box for shirt because that is our reference point. And then for the pair of pants, which costs $12 more. So you can see from the size, this box and this unit box, they are of the same size, plus additional $12 is here. Now, Mrs. Devi paid $204 for three pairs of pants and four shirts. So three pairs, so three such things and uh, four such units here. So this is what Mrs. Devi bought and she bought it for $204. From the diagram, it's quite clear that, you know, these are all of the same size, actually. Units are of the same size. So what we can do is take this first. So 3 times 12 is 36. We remove this from 204. Then we'll be left with identical units. So 204 minus 36 is 168. So that 168 belongs to all these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units. So 7 units is 168. So one unit will be 168 divided by 7, which is 24. And each of these units is 24. Now shirt costs 24 dollars. That's what we have seen here. One shirt costs 24 dollars. And a pant will cost 24 plus 12, which is uh, $36. So this is a quite simple problem. I hope you enjoyed it. Now let's move on to the next question. In a basket, one third are oranges and the rest are pears. If I give away 20 pears, there will be two thirds as many pears as oranges. How many oranges and pears are there in the basket altogether? So the first to look for is first condition one third are oranges and the rest are pears what does it mean if we divide the fruits uh, oranges and pears into three units one unit belongs to orange and pear occupies the other two units so let's say we have a uh, three uh, unit diagram here so three boxes are here and the first box is oranges one box and pears is the other two boxes here so this is the situation at first and if I give away 20 pairs just be very careful here because we it doesn't say that we are giving away but it says a condition if I give away 20 pairs there will be two-third as many pairs as oranges so in this second statement when I say two-third the first one to appear here that is pairs always belongs to the numerator and the denominator belongs to the second which comes as so two parts of pairs and three parts of oranges will be left so now we have drawn another model the sizes of these units are definitely going to be different because we have just used up or given away 20 pairs so the size of these units will be smaller and as it said we have two units for pairs and three units for oranges but please do notice that there was no change in the oranges, meaning 20 pairs were given away, but oranges remain the same. So whatever these three units, they are equal to this one unit size that is shown here. So they are equal. And now, since we know they are equal and this is three units, that can also be converted into three units. And that again means the rest of them also be converted into three units each. So now we have three units for oranges and six units for pairs as per the size of the new uh, model diagram how many oranges and pairs are there in the basket so that's what we need to figure out but before that one thing to note is if we, we are giving away 20 pairs and that is the amount that is getting reduced here 20 pairs is what is equal to one two three four units here so 4 units is equal to 20 
and one unit is equal to 20 divided by 4 which is 5 so one unit is 5 now the question is how many oranges and pears are there in the basket oranges is equal to 3 units that's what see here right oranges is equal to 3 units 3 times 5 is 15 and pairs is 6 units remember this was just a condition actually Act in, in practice we did not give away any uh, pairs so we are still left with all these 6 units here so 6 times 5 gives us 30 so 30 is the number of pairs